Today we're at the ARA facility in Randolph, Vermont, and we're demonstrating the ICM uh, climbing machine. It's a remote control device that can climb walls, ceilings, towers, ships, buildings, virtually any uh, hard surface. And it can climb over surface obstacles, it can climb over brick, it can climb over bolts, nuts, plates, um, almost anything you can put in its path. First of all, the machine has a vacuum source, and underneath this vacuum source is a tube that goes to a chamber. That's the chamber. So the whole secret and what our patent is on is you've got a rolling seal that's very flexible and it's all powered. So it allows the machine to basically just moving a vacuum chamber along the surface. But because everything's rolling, you have far less resistance, you have far less wear. It also allows you to uh, literally roll over any kind of a, you know, an obstacle. We knew that it was all about, oh, what technologies can we add, you know, what, so we wanted it to be a nice big box, but there's very little in here. PlayStation controlled, you have your vacuum sensor, in fact, I'll just turn this on real quick. You can see the number, that's the thing that the operator is most watching. Founded on just an R&D principle that we could figure it out, we literally didn't know which approach we were going to take. By 2003, we had what we called our Kitty Hawk, and that was the day that we figured out how we could actually power um, a rolling seal, a seal that completely surrounds the vacuum chamber, and have it traverse the surface. It was really in 2003. By 2005, we were awarded our first patent. Uh, it's a U.S. patent. Uh, 2007, we had another U.S., well, we had an international patent, and then 2010, we had a third U.S. patent, but all basically on their principle of having a vacuum chamber and surrounding it with a rolling locomoting seal. That's the whole secret of our technology. Used um, to date for uh, remote inspections. It's been used for uh, cleaning, decontaminating surfaces. Uh, it's been used for spraying on coatings. Uh, it's been used to um, uh, test, test coatings for their integrity. Um, it has a host of applications virtually just limited by one's imagination.